What's happening everyone? So in today's video, something a little different. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about some uplifting, happy fragrances that you should have in your life. Starting to change, the weather's starting to turn, we're getting warmer now, days are longer, spring is here, summer's around the corner, and I get messages from people that live in tropical areas almost on a daily basis. Max, what are your favorites? So in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my top favorite happy slash vacation fragrances that I love to wear that you guys should know about. Check it out. Welcome back to another video, Max Forte. In today's video, we're gonna talk about fragrances that will, without a shadow of a doubt, bring a smile to your face. These fragrances here I associate with happy times, summertime, vacation, family, friends. So I have a lot of sentimental and you know emotional uh, value and attachment with these fragrances. And of course, if you guys wanna smell great, if you wanna feel energized, refreshed, and uplifted, these fragrances will not disappoint. So without any further ado, guys, Let's hop into the choices. Starting at the fifth spot here, again, these are in no particular order. I love all five fragrances and I've been wearing these fragrances over the past few years, mostly for vacation and happy times in my life, hence the fact that I'm doing this video for the first time. This one here is going to be Pacific Rock Moss. This fragrance here from Goldfield and Banks, Australian brand. As you look at the color of the juice here, it reminds me of turquoise beachy waters. We're talking the Bahamas, we're talking the Pacific, just like the name of the fragrance and it smells absolutely incredible. It's just very refreshing, very uplifting, very fruity. It's one of those fragrances that if you like compliments, if you like to smell great, this will do a great job at that. But not only that, it's also gonna give you that uplifting, energizing, uh, refreshing kind of a feel that we love in the summertime. And of course, if you're going on vacation, if you live somewhere where it's tropical, if you know, Things are starting to get better now. It's starting to open up. Hopefully we're getting the vaccination. We're talking about the pandemic here. So hopefully you'll be able to travel soon. And this is the type of fragrance that I'm looking to wear perhaps for those such occasions for happy times, vacation, going out and traveling. So just like the color of the juice, great aquatic, fresh, energizing, fruity type of a fra fragrance, inspiring, energizing, a great scent. Pacific Rock Moss at the fifth spot here. Check it out if you haven't, it's one of those guys. You can't do a vacation type list without talking about this fragrance. This to me is like party in the bottle. I'm talking about Creed's Virgin Island Water. You think of an island, like a, like in, like a paradise, an oasis type of a line. You know, this could have been easily called Oasis uh, because it is that type of a fragrance. It smells so good. To me, it smells like a pina colada. You have the coconut here. You have some pineapple, bergamot, you know, citrus vibe. There's definitely a white rum, you know, infusion here. You have the sea breeze, salty vibe with the ambergris, which Creed does it very well when it comes to freshies, compliment inducing fragrances, great quality. You know, Creed does it well. We're not talking about pricing here. This stuff here can be pricing, but when it comes to feel good, bring a smile to your face, this stuff here never fails to amaze me. And of course, there are options out there. You don't have to go with this one. I'll give you a quick option here. Something that smells very close to this and it's a lot cheaper is Gorse by Laborio Perfumes. Again, I'll have that in the, in the description for you guys. If you guys wanna check that out, it's definitely very similar to this for a fraction of the cost. But Virgin Island Water, one that I've been wearing for many, many years. I think this is like my fifth bottle since I started wearing. You know, at this point I have the silver cap, the blue cap was a vintage formulation that I no longer have. But needless to say, a great one when you wanna put a smile on your face, you wanna think vacation. Even if it's winter time, but you wanna, you know, go on a little journey and feel like inspired by vacation times and memories, pull this one off, it's definitely gonna do it for you. Third choice here is going to be from a house that I haven't really spoken about in quite a while. The reason why is because a lot of their fragrances have been discontinued, the ones that I really liked, or you haven't really found those fragrances in stock. They've been low in stock or out of stock completely. But this fragrance here is one that when it comes to vacations, beach-like weather, this one here is like beach in the bottle, guys. And I'm talking about bun number nine, Fire Island, guys. This stuff here smells like suntan lotion, sun-kissed skin, like you had the day at the beach and you came back home, you took a shower, you know, that's the kind of fragrance you get. It's got tuberose, it's got a lot of these solar kind of vibe, you know, it's, it's gonna give you this really warm, you know, sun-kissed, you know, suntan lotion kind of a vibe. I love this stuff, it's very unique. I think there's coconut in here, tuberose, um, that solar note that I talked about. It is very uncanny, very unique, 
very exclusive. There's nothing in the market that smells quite like this one. And I would urge you guys to check this out because if you wanna have that feel of being in the beach or coming from the beach. So guys, if you're looking for a fragrance that evokes tropical weather, vacation, just awesome for the summertime, I mean, this could, could have easily been called the beach. Fire Island is a beach, so this is like beach in a bottle. The name is very fitting. And when it comes to summertime, which is right around the corner, I love to wear my polo shirts or t-shirts, V-necks like this, which by the way, Into the AM is a brand that I shared with you guys on my spring designer video for a reason, guys. This is something amazing. These shirts are great. They, they, they're 100% cotton. They feel great. They contour to your body. They're very comfortable. They don't shrink when you wash them. So definitely check out. And people that have checked it out, please also comment down below and let other people know how great these shirts are. As you guys know, I always share with you guys stuff that I truly believe in, and I really, really love these shirts, guys. So link below, you can use my code 40 for 10% off. Of course, you can get a free shirt by joining the T-Club. And also, there's actually two new things that they have going on right now, which is like three bundles. You can get graphic tees or the plain tees like these for incredible deals, guys. Again, all the information linked for you guys. Check it out, don't miss out. They've never done bundle deals like this, so it's one of a kind. Summer's here, it's a great time to, to, to partake in this and take advantage, enjoy. So as you saw from all the picks here, all fragrances have a lot of citruses, you know, very, you know, citrus components, kind of boozy sometimes, like a cocktail or a tropical drink, very refreshing, very aromatic. Mostly citrus, aromatic, refreshing, boozy, but if it's boozy, it's gonna be on the tropical drink kind of a vibe because that's what I love to wear when it's you know summertime, especially vacation, if I'm hanging out casually. Those are the type of fragrances that I normally gravitate towards. This one here is going to evoke a mojito vibe. Amazing fragrance from Eau de Tali. This is going to be Aqua Dachima. It's a fragrance that don't get much talks here. It reminds me of Guerlain's Ohm, which has that mojito vibe, which has been reformulated to death, so it's not as good as it used to be. But this one, however, it's a niche fragrance. So if you enjoy, oh my God, it smells so good. It's so realistic. What it smells like, honestly, guys, is if you took a glass, you crush some mint leaves with some fresh limes. That's what I get here. It's a perfect tropical drink, guys. Here, This is mojito in a bottle. If you love mojito, if you think that mojito evokes vacation time or good times, this is a fragrance that you should definitely consider checking out. And again, it's a hidden gem. I don't like to talk about the same things over and over in this channel. So I love to bring things that are off the beaten path that I love, and this is definitely one of them. Check it out. If you love the mojito vibe, this is the best mojito fragrance out there, period. I laugh the best one for last, so to speak. I mean, this is a fragrance that I absolutely love from a house that I love. There are three brands that I don't normally talk about much, because either it's hard to find good fragrances from those brands because they have been reformulated, they changed, but these three brands, Serge Luton's, Anique Coutal, and the fragrance I'm gonna talk about right now are perhaps my three favorite niche brands of all time, give or take. This one here is going to be L'Artisan Parfumé. The fragrance is called Batucada, guys. And what I love about L'Artisan Parfumé, I did a good, bad, ugly, underrated, and overrated from this brand years ago, which I'll pop it up here for you guys if you wanna check out more about this fragrance house. They're incredible. The noses, I mean, Breton du Chafour, which was one of my favorite perfumers of all time, did a lot of the fragrances for this brand. And Batucada is really an interpretation of a Brazilian drink called Caipirinha. So basically you have limes, you have Brazilian rum, which is called cachaça, which is made you know, out of sugar cane, you have sugar cubes. So all in all, it's basically, it smells so good, guys. It evokes vacation time, happy times, family times when I'm traveling. This is just an all around feel good, put a smile on your face, you know, nothing else matter, not a care in the world type of a fragrance, guys. Batucada, you can pick up, spray and go. You know you're gonna smell amazing. I know they have changed the bottle, they have reformulated it. It's not as good as it used to be when they were in the clear bottles like this. What can you do? But it's still a great fragrance. Even if you find it today, perhaps it's gonna not be as long lasting as it once was, but it's still gonna capture the Caipirinha, you know, drink in the bottle, guys. Amazing, party in the bottle, very festive, very happy, very uplifting. Everything that you come to expect in the happy, feel good type of a scent. So guys, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the picks that I shared with you today. I hope you found something different and intriguing to check out. And of course, let me know in the comments which fragrances you guys love to wear when you're looking for a pick-me-up type of fragrance when you need a smile, especially on the times that we've had over the past year or so with the pandemic. What fragrances you really love to think about vacation and happy times, guys? Comment down below. And of course, 
I'm your guy, I keep you in the know. I love to share fragrance, my passion with you guys on a weekly basis. If you guys enjoy the program, if you guys enjoy the channel, please don't forget to show me your support. It's greatly appreciated. Hit the like button, touch the subscribe before me, and enable the notification bell icon so you get videos like these straight into your feed. As always, remember guys, fragrance is emotion in motion. It makes you happy, it makes you feel things. It's an emotion enhancer. So choose your fragrance wisely and wear it well. I'll see you guys right back here again very soon. Take care. Thank you.